failure with preserved ejection fraction accounts for about 15 to 20% of the patients with heart failure in India. Now the diagnosis is by clinical features, it's often supported by biomarkers and also echocardiography. Lifestyle modifications, the control of risk factors to optimum levels and also the treatment of comorbidities are all essential together in the management of the disease. Hello and welcome to Medical Dialogues Journal Club, your daily dose of health and medical news. I am Dr. Nandita Mohan and I will be talking about the management guidelines that have been released for heart failure. Journal of the Associations of Physicians of India reports a set of guidelines as spironolactone and sacubitril valsartan are found to be beneficial in subsets of heart failure with preserved ejection fraction, especially with lower range of ejection fraction. The guideline further states that the SGLT2 inhibitors, the emphagliflozin as well as the dapagliflozin and probably even sotagliflozin are the only currently available drugs which have shown benefits in heart failure with preserved ejection fraction, mostly by reducing hospitalizations. Lifestyle modifications are hence considered to be important structured cardiac rehabilitation processes and weight loss in the obese have shown to benefit such patients. Dietary salt and fluid restriction also help to minimize congestion and should be considered in patients who have features of volume overload. Tobacco cessation and restrictions of alcohol consumption should also be advised. Treatment of comorbidities is definitely essential control for hypertension, correction of anemia and even the heart rate control, especially in atrial fibrillation patients. All these are very important. Myocardial ischemia should also be assessed and equally treated. They also stated that renal dysfunction is a common accompaniment of heart failure with preserved ejection fraction and pharmacotherapy should be modified according to the renal function. Vaccination for influenza and pneumococcus should be considered whenever appropriate. Sleep patterns should be assessed to look for obstructive sleep apnea. Use of organic nitrates, phosphodiesterase 5 inhibitors or digoxin beta blockers should be avoided in patients with heart failure with preserved ejection fraction. The researchers keeping all these parameters in view therefore concluded that diagnosis can sometimes be difficult and requires detailed evaluation with an echocardiography and biomarkers. Lifestyle modifications and control of risk factors are very important in the management of heart failure with preserved ejection fraction. They also mentioned that the treatment of comorbidities is essential. We all know that there are few available drugs which have shown to benefit, mostly by reducing hospitalizations in both diabetic and non-diabetic patients with heart failure with preserved ejection fraction. That's all for today. Stay tuned to Medical Dialogues for latest updates. Never miss a medical update from Medical Dialogues. Like, subscribe and press the bell icon.